going on, internet? Welcome. Hopefully you can hear me. Today, I'm gonna show you how to how I uh, how I build confidence when I go to a new track or um, a track that I that I go to, but has changes changes either I've never seen before or changes I haven't seen in a long time. Um, I'm gonna show you how to string it all together, how I piecemeal each section individually, build my confidence, have a plan, know what my lines are gonna be, and then put all the different sections together to be able to just throw laps together and and have a full a, a plan for the entire track, basically. And and not just plans, but backup plans too, in case you get caught behind people. Alright guys. Stick around! Like a new jump right here. So we're just out taking a sliding lap, checking the track out. Looking at lines. A little double, it's not bad. This jump has got so much lift on it, I think I could hit it, if I could get out of the inside turn clean, I bet you I could make a new one. I could hit it, maybe even with just a little bit of a seat bounce from the farthest inside line. Bet you I could, let's try it. So my point is, build confidence in one small section at a time. And just keep building it. And then, once you think you've got all these different sections wired, string them together. String them together. Nobody's coming. Inside, inside. Well, almost. I bet if I developed that line a little bit more, I could. Came up a little short, but it's okay. All right, in second gear, we're gonna have to use a little bit of clutch. We just need to dig it out. I mean, look, I didn't even try. I'm getting close to the end. So let's try it one more time. Let's just dig that line out with some clutch. And then we'll have a nice line nobody else is hitting. Oh, didn't hit it that time. We're gonna work that shit in. We're gonna work it in, baby. There it is. Piece of cake, man. Piece of cake. Just because I think I just need to hit that line maybe two more times. Get it scrubbed in real good. You know, the problem with taking the long way around the track, it, you know, it all depends. If I need to take the long way to be able to clear something, I will. But as you can see, just a couple of scrub ins on this tight, tight inside line, and I'm clearing it just fine. So, I mean, the problem with going outside is if, if you're going to be fast, you need to carry a lot of momentum if you're taking the long way around the track. And sometimes people are really good at that. And sometimes it's necessary to be able to get over some kind of obstacle. You need more run up to the face. So you go outside. This is not one of those times, people. Nobody's coming. Brake hard, leg up. Grab fourth. Sweep inside, flat track it. Brakes down the third. I don't know if the camera's recording, but we'll go ahead and do our outro. I'm having some technical difficulties. I think the vibration of the bike is maybe not so good for the for the camera. But um, that's it, guys. That's that's kind of how I build confidence and put sections together that are new to me or um, haven't been in a track for a long time. You know, focus on one little turn, then one jump after it, because I. Like this section's really good. There's there's three pieces to it, right? You got this little double, which is pretty easy. The tabletop's pretty easy. Um, but I started with the turn, right? I was hitting inside somewhere. Then I decided, dude, I could cut a really, really super tight one and just use just butt loads of clutch to get the bike to drive out and seat bounce from the inside, right? And then, I, I uh, did that a couple times, dug out the turn, dug out my line, hit the, hit the little tabletop, had a seat bouncer from the inside, which isn't a problem, it's easy. 
and then and then the double after it and then we tried a couple things in the right hand turn after that i didn't really focus too much on backup lines but i had my lines figured out where i wanted to go then it was just a matter of putting it all together i didn't ever really do a whole complete lap but i i put all those sections together continuously um that's that's how i do it man Build confidence, one little tiny obstacle turn at a time until you got them all, all down. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, one last thing, you know, like on a road race track, I realize it's not possible to pull off and then turn around, jump back onto the track wherever you please. And even on some motocross tracks, it's not possible to do that. Some places are just a little bit more restricted than others. Um, but when it is possible, take advantage of it. Because just imagine if you're trying to learn this one little turn, this one little jump, but you have to do an entire lap. By the time you get back there, you probably done forgot what you wanted to try. <laughs> so it, it's definitely easier to attack in small little bits and pieces. When the track allows you to do that, um, never really was afforded that ability when I was doing road racing there for a couple years, a long time ago. But pretty much every motocross track I've ridden allows you to do that. Um, anywho, that's it guys. Have a good one. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll catch you in the next video, man. Um, uh, let me know. Leave a comment if you like this kind of stuff. I, I definitely enjoy doing them. Um, you know instructional type things and line selection. I think line selection is huge. So yeah, leave a comment Let me know what you guys think and we'll see you in the next one, man. Keep the rubber side down. Bye Not too hard on the brakes down the third gear Inside we're gonna nail it this time Oops down a second oh, That's not a second damn it. That's called neutral ah!